Well, we just spoke to the building's owner who says a building inspector ordered the crew working on renovations inside the building to get out of the building just around three hours before it collapsed. And this timing likely saved several lives. Now just a big pile of debris remains of what's left of this building this morning. Crews were able to safely demolish the building yesterday with no damage to either of the nearby apartments on Broad Street. Now, the building has been an occupied since a fatal fire that happened back in 2010, but was currently under renovations to open up an apartment complex. The building was bought just around three months ago, but the inspection yesterday found it was unsafe. Again, no one was injured, including the crew who was working the renovations. The building's owner says that was a miracle. You know, that's the best part. Not even a car, not even like nothing get damaged. Like not person get injury, so that was a good thing. The apartments next door were a major concern. If the building had collapsed further, it could have destroyed those nearby apartments. Now, the demolition team says it was difficult to safely get this building down because of the tight space. They had to work slow and steady because the outer walls started to shift in. The whole process only took a little over an hour. Nearby residents waited in the fire department until they were safely allowed back in their apartments last night. Now, the building's owner says they still plan to open up an apartment complex, but they are going to build that from scratch. A crew is also going to be on scene today to clean up all this debris. Live in Meriden, Lindsay Kane, Fox 61 News.